Who am I speaking with? My name is Peter Morano. I'm the hackathon chair for Social Dev Camp. And this is not the first hackathon you've done. How many have you done? Uh, for Social Dev Camp, this is the third, and in all, I've probably done about 12. So my guess is you figured out how to do these correctly, yes? I, I like to think so, and, I, and I'm told, but I, you know, there's always new things to learn and new tricks to try. All right, I want to do a hackathon in my town. Walk me through the steps. What do I need to know? Uh, well, first you're going to have to have a space, you know, depending on how long the hackathon is going to be, if it's going to be 8 hours, 24 hours, even 36 hours, you're going to need some kind of space where the developers can work pretty much uninterrupted for that duration. You're going to need in that space the right infrastructure, internet, uh, you know, enough food to cover people, uh, you know, prizes to incent the developers, and, and uh, even, even before you have all that, you really need a topic uh, that you're going to base the hackathon around. Uh, it's, it's really not enough to just say, come and build something. It really helps the developers to kind of give them some guidance and some boundaries around what you're expecting them to build. Uh, even loosely based requirements, like is it a mobile app, is it a web app, is it designed to help people, should it be monetized? Uh, so giving just that, that enough information for developers to start running with and using their creativity uh, is, is a big help. And then. Uh, also, the important thing around a hackathon is the time limit. The, the, the success of the hackathon and the reason the ideas come out so clear is because the developers are time boxed. So you don't have that, that uh, kind of, you know, you, you walk away, you, you start overthinking things, you, you, you decide you maybe take a week and talk about it some more. You have such little time that you have to keep moving forward and it, it really helps you kind of distill the idea down to its purest form and only deliver and, and demo exactly what you need to to convey the idea. And so what you get are these really pure ideas. So this was a 30-hour hackathon, but you had mentioned eight. Have you done eight-hour hackathons? I've organized eight-hour hackathons, and uh, you know it's 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 a different developer audience. You know, the developers that can do 30 or 36 hour hackathons are, are they're pretty hardcore. Uh, you know, they clearly can get out of the house and, and, and be away for the weekend. Uh, the eight hour hackathon caters to someone who may not be able to dedicate that much time or may, may not have, uh, you know, let's say may, maybe that much skill level to invest 36 hours into an application. So they want to dabble, they want to interact with other developers, uh, but not at the expense of an entire weekend. Any advice on how to actually land sponsors and what's the pitch you give to them to try to get sponsorship and, you know, you know how much money you're asking for them? Yeah. From them. The, uh, you know, sponsors are ultimately driven by connecting with developers. And so if you can provide the sponsor with a group of developers and, and you can show them that you're going to bring together 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe even 100 developers into one space. Uh, these days most APIs, most, most of the larger sponsors are going to be willing to invest the money to get that kind of that one-on-one -on -one time with the developers. And so in exchange for the sponsorship fee, you know, the sponsor's invited to come out, they can present to the developers, they can hang out with them for, you know, the duration of the contest, whether it's eight hours or 36 hours. And that, that kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction where you're sitting at the tables with the developers is is, I mean, that goes so far beyond just having a website up or, you know, trying an email campaign or some kind of, uh, you know, a public blast like that. You're really getting one-on-one -on -one time with the developer and, and, and for the sponsor, it's a way to really get, let the developer see a deep dive of what you have to offer. And so what I find uh, with sponsors is I try to incorporate the sponsor's API or the sponsor's tool set or software into the contest itself. And so uh, I find that that actually makes... Uh, it generates the most interest among sponsors. What are the other steps I need to actually pull this off? Well, you'll need you'll need prize money, and 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 most importantly, you'll you'll need. I mean, it, it's it seems like it should go without saying, but you're going to need developers, and uh, that that can oftentimes be tricky, and and uh, you know, reaching out to the developers because there's different types of developers. The de the developers who work in uh, large corporations are generally not the ones who who look for these kind of events in the community. So you're going to have to reach out to local meetup groups, uh, uh, you know, and find out where that kind of, of of hackathon level developer is actually congregating. And once you get into one of these meetup groups and start talking to people, the word can spread. But obviously, if you have no developers, you're not going to have any sponsors. So last thing, you need judges. And you also, I, I like the fact that you, you know, when you actually had the presentation portion, you had criteria to actually hook up your computer with the, the system you had there. So what are some of the last loose ends you got to worry about? Uh, there's, <laughs> there's so many. You'll have to forgive me. I've been up for uh, about a day and a half now running this hackathon. Uh, it's, it seems like the loose ends never end. But the, you know, the important thing, like you mentioned, is the infrastructure. Having that in place, giving the developers guidance on how to uh, present, you know, the, the best they can, and having their systems ready to go. It's really about at the presentation point. It's really about keeping things flowing very smoothly. If you have a lot of teams, it can take hours to get through. And if you're fumbling with cables, it's just going to drag things out. And uh, any uh, last items that we uh, that I missed? 
I actually, you touched on one, the uh, the judges. One of the neatest things you can do for a hackathon is actually reach out to some uh, pretty distinguished people in the technical community or even, even outside the technical community and bring them in. Uh, and that's something that's really exciting to developers, to be able to present in, in front of people that they respect and recognize and, you know, giving the developers five minutes in front of someone uh, of, of, of a certain level of caliber, even if it's just within the local community, uh, is, is a pretty exciting thing for developers and so it's just another thing that uh, creates an incentive for them. Very last question. You've done a dozen of these hackathons. What do you get out of it? <laughs> uh, you know, I honestly I enjoy uh, creating the kind of that space, that you know, physical and mental space that allows uh, developers to do what we saw them do today. Uh, you know, it's just, I, when, when I first started doing this a couple of years ago, there wasn't a lot of it going on in Chicago. And I, as much as I'd like to compete in the hackathons, I, I, you know, I recognize someone has to step up and kind of start to drive these things forward. And so I, I invested a lot of my time, uh, you know, on the organization end. And in the process, I've, you know, I've just met some great people, some, uh, some great friends, people that I otherwise wouldn't have met. And, uh, you know, you start to see them event after event, and you just you realize you have this rich pool of, of, of like-minded people around you that you can connect with on a regular basis. So for me, it's just, it's, it's almost become you know, a, a part of my, my, my social scene, if you will. Excellent. Peter, thanks so much for your time, and congrats on a very successful hackathon. Thank you very much. Thank you.